Hi people, Moina away from Bakirikin as always, Andrew as usual. Yeah, I'm going to cover another Govarek spirit. It's going to be uh, in this segment. It's going to be spirit number 48 from the Lesser Key of Salman book 1, aka the Goetia called Haginti or Hahinti. I'm just going to use the former. Now, let me recite. The 48th spirit is Haginti. He is a president appearing in the form of a mighty bull with griffin's wings. This is at first, but after, at the command of the exorcist, he put it on human shape. His office is to make men wise and to instruct them in diverse things. Also to transmute all metals into gold and to change wine into water and water into wine. He governed the 33 legions of spirits and his seal is this, etc, etc. Yeah, as you can tell based on the thumbnail. That's what his seal is like or looks like. Um, um, so yeah, let's get down to it. Now, Hagenti's appearance first. Hagenti does indeed appear as a bull, a black bull specifically, so a male cow, just plain bull, um, completely black, uh, but the wings are optional regarding appearance, um, and when um, I interacted with him, he simply told me that the wings are just more, they're optional, he, the, the a general black bull, usually sitting on its um, rear end, is... Um, not meant negatively towards him, of course, just sitting down like a dog, essentially, in a manner of speaking, is a um, thingy. Is um, That's his true appearance. That's his general and most uh, just plain pure appearance. Yeah, sorry for the dogs barking in the background. Can't do anything about that. Uh, obviously. Yeah. And the reason that when I interacted with him, he told me that... Um, the reason for that is because obviously there is no such thing as a bull with wings in the material plane. So he was like, yeah, so, you know, this is, I like this form the most. This is my true form, my, uh, my genuine form. And it's the same thing with the human appearance. Any human appearance as he takes is purely to accommodate the summoner or the individual that works with him, the magician, the sorcerer, or what have you. The individual that works with him in question. Uh, let me see if I had anything else to share. Obviously I do. Um, so yeah, that's that regarding appearance. Yeah, he told me that he, that he's a fallen angel. He was from the angelic order of powers or potestates. Um, and there is no specific angel he falls under. You've got like different ones. Like he partially falls under. Like the closest you'll come is Michael, uh, and you'll see why in a second. But for the rest, Raphael. My beloved Lord of Lords, Sandalphon, Primordial Lord Samael, and it just goes on. No specific ruler, but if you're looking for like the closest thing that comes to it, it would be Michael. Michael or uh, at the very least Raphael, but Michael is fine. Um, let me see. Yeah, now for his planetary and zodiacal uh, alignment, he corresponds to two degrees in Virgo, which makes him mercurial. The two degrees doesn't really stand for anything, okay? It stands for um, self-awareness within this context uh, of one's own skills and uh, and craftsmanship. But um, it doesn't really have a specific definition that um, adds anything to uh, the equation in the way of information. Uh, and let me see what else. Um, yeah, and here it comes, his specialty. So remember, he's mercurial corresponds to the zodiac sign Virgo, two degrees in Virgo. Uh, specialty is transmutation regarding alchemy and or physics. I confirmed all of this obviously the way I usually do or I do by default like always. Metals as well but that is not a specialty. Um, there is also a drawback, uh, a very minor drawback, it depends on your perspective but just a, a drawback by default. Working with Hagenti will make the operator lazy He'll be more inclined to take breaks or will outright take breaks and work less hard. But on the upside, he'll make you, as an operator that works with Haginti, considerably more skilled and craftsman-like. Which makes sense, obviously, based on the... Um, based on... Based on the properties of Virgo. So yeah, the downside is that you'll become, like, slightly lazy. As in you won't want to work as hard if you were a hard worker to begin with or you'll just outright become lazier than you already were taking more breaks and whatnot but the benefit is that you will naturally become uh, more craftsman like more detail pay more attention to detail regarding work 
So it's like a, a switch up for a, a, a metaphorical sacrifice for uh, quantity uh, with quality being the outcome. Um, and yeah, that's it regarding Hagenti. Um, let me double check just to be on the safe side if I had anything else, like anything whatsoever. Um, and yeah, the way that Hagenti speaks is like a typical deep voice, what you would imagine a, a bull to speak like. Or as, um, don't know. Nah. that's it, guys. Bye bye.